All right, so now we're back on our T-bar floor where again, we had to stop our puddle. Something happened, right, yesterday. We had to pull our puddle dry, um, go out, take care of the issue. Now we're back, uh, this is all dry. Now we wanna start back up, how do we get going? And then using kind of that same idea of pulling a dry line, but again, what our discussion was on this side is, sometimes if you've got a really difficult job and where, you're, where you have to cut in, work your way out, that's really difficult, go ahead and do that first. Let that dry and then we'll show you how. If we had then come in and we were just working our T-bar regularly across this floor, now we can pull it dry out here we don't have to worry about all our cutting in and ending and trying to you know, S turn and push pull our way out of this room. We're already finished with it. So the first thing we're gonna do on this side is just get going again. And you know, I've got some of my fine feather marks, you know, a board, even board and a half out. So make sure, especially if you're going to put down some tape or even working back into it with just the cut in pad, that I'm going over far enough to pick up and make sure I get finish over all these areas where I was just doing some fine feathering. And you can do a tape line. I prefer not to. I'm just gonna pull it really thin uh, down a board seam. Um, but just make sure you get it on that board seam and that you pull the tape right away after you're done with your little cutting in area. Um, otherwise, I think that has more of a tendency to leave a hard edge in the line than just using the cut-in pad to, to pull it down, pull it down that row. So yeah, I don't have to be quite as careful if I'm using tape. I'm just gonna pull it nice and thin down my tape line. And then when I get to my other edge here, I'm gonna pull it down this board seam to make sure everything has a beginning. And when I'm doing that, I'm not necessarily holding my cut-in pad flat. I'm kind of holding it up a little bit just because, again, that helps me put it down a little thinner. Also, if I need to do a little quick feather, I can do that. And it doesn't show up where if I leave it flat and pull that up, then you've got that, that mark that you tend to have right there. So go ahead and get your ends where you need them to be and then you can start right in with your T-bar. So I might make one pass down here, and I'm gonna, if I'm using tape, I'm going back over this. If I get down to where I was just using my cut-in pad, I'm gonna try to stay off that. Swing it around to make sure you get your start. But then like I said, with if I'm gonna use tape, I wanna pull this tape while the finish is still wet so that it has a chance to flow out and kind of over. I don't want that hard edge that might be caused by the tape. So just make sure. <laughs> and then if that happens where you accidentally drop the tape, right, or the tape goes back in the finish, you can just go back down there, hit that again real quick and you're ready to go. So now we're just gonna start T-bar and we'd be back in business now um, from having pulled our puddle dry. Uh, the other thing I would have done if necessary before that, again, one of the, the negatives to a T-bar is as you pull that puddle across the floor, it tends to collect debris. So I would check that area real well, you know, hand sand it or use a nib file to take out any uh, larger pieces of debris or hairs or anything that may have been stuck in my puddle from uh, my previous attempt. Uh, and then make sure I just have something nice and clean going down the floor. But that's it, otherwise we're just T-barring across the floor, finishing everything out, and then showing you if, again, just pretend now that, hey, this is a really difficult room. We went ahead and finished first and now we're gonna come across with our regular T-bar application and show you how to pull your puddle dry again into that area uh, to do that method on, again, some more difficult jobs instead of having to worry about how are we gonna work our way out of this room. Now you know you don't have any blemishes from that part of it. And you can go ahead and just do your regular T-barring out to finish it out. 
And the other thing I would do there, some guys, again, will finish with tape. Um, I don't like that because if you end up with a little too much finish, you know, maybe you're going to pour or pull it a little further across the floor than you had anticipated. But I think that's okay as long as you don't get yourself too tightly against the wall. Versus having too much piled up against that tape line, now you're trying to soak stuff up. So just be careful with the amount of finish that you do have out on the floor at this point. So it's not gonna run clear across where kind of your plan ending spot is gonna be. And then have a, a paint pan or some type of container to lay your cut in pad because I don't want to lay, I really don't want to keep it in the wet. I don't want to lay it back down, um, obviously on area where I don't want to have finish, but I do want it handy because I'll probably have some, just some final passes with the cut in pad to take care of. And I always like to finish down the floor as well with the cut-in pad just to make sure that I've got a nice thin area on my edge here, pulling those little micro feathers out into the floor. So now you can take your cut-in pad, reach back. I like to make as much as I can one continuous just run down this. I don't want to be Tempting that I'm going to have start, stop, feather marks. And I'm just pulling it real thin on this side because we've already got a regular coat of finish down here, so it's not like I need to add more finish. I'm just trying to feather this out with this side of the floor that's already done um, so that uh, I don't have a ridge line there when people walk in, especially through a transition. So that's it. We showed you how to come back in if you have to stop during a T-bar application, pull your puddle dry, you can get started with tape, you can get started again by just cutting in down a board seam. And if you use kind of that same method of pulling your puddle dry but to finish a room first at your ending point, then do your regular T-bar application across. That takes all the, the worry out of this end game right here. May make your life a lot easier on uh, some certain jobs or when something comes up where you gotta stop and pull, pull that puddle dry. Mm -hmm.